everyone, this is Miss Lee at the Woodlands Children's Museum. Today we'll be reading the book Moon Bear's Shadow by Frank Ash. One day, Bear went down to the pond with his fishing pole and a big can of worms. While he was putting a worm on his hook, he looked down and saw a big fish. I'm going to catch that fish, thought Bear to himself. But when Bear stood up to throw his line in the water, his shadow scared the big fish away. Go away, shadow, cried Bear, but Bear's shadow would not go away. Okay, said Bear, if you won't go on your own, then I'll just have to get rid of you. And he put down his fishing pole and he began to run. He ran around the pond. And when he got to the other side, he kept on running. He ran through a field of flowers, jumped over the brook, and hid behind a tree. Good, thought Bear. Now Shadow can't find me. But Bear was wrong. When he stepped out from behind the tree... The first thing he saw was Shadow. Nearby was a cliff. Bear walked over to the cliff and looked up. I'll climb so high, Shadow won't be able to follow me, thought Bear. Bear climbed higher and higher until at last he pulled himself up to the top. Huffing and puffing, he smiled with pride. Then he looked down and saw Shadow. Now Bear was very annoyed, so he went home and got a hammer and some nails to nail his shadow to the ground. He hammered and hammered and hammered, but no matter how many nails he hammered, he couldn't nail his shadow down. If I can't nail him down, thought Bear, maybe I can bury him. So he got his shovel and dug a hole. When the hole was deep and wide, he let his shadow fall in the hole. Then Bear filled the hole with dirt. When he was finished, it was almost noon. The sun was high in the sky and shadow was nowhere to be seen. At last, sighed Bear, no more shadow. But now Bear was very tired. So he went inside and took a little nap. While he slept, time passed and the sun once again cast shadows everywhere. When Bear got up and opened his door, he saw his shadow on the floor. Not you again, exclaimed Bear, and he slammed the door, hoping to lock Shadow inside. But Shadow was too quick. Hmm, sighed Bear. How about this? If you let me catch a fish, I'll let you catch one too. Nod your head like this if it's a deal. When Bear nodded his head, Shadow nodded too. So Bear went back to the pond and once again threw his line in the water. By this time, the sun was in a different part of the sky, which made it easy for Shadow to keep his part of the deal. And when Bear caught that big fish, Shadow caught one too. The end. Thank you for listening to our story today. When Bear gets up, his shadow's going to be on one side, and his shadow might go over the pond. 
But then as he was playing around trying to hide from his shadow, the sun went up, up, up in the sky toward about lunchtime. And at lunchtime, you can't see Bear's shadow very well around him. Can you see that on the screen? Can you see that? Good. And then as we went on through the day, Bear's shadow moved. And then when he went back to fish, his shadow was on the other side of him. And let's see, what else did Bear do? He hid in the shadow of the tree, right? So how did that work? So if the sun is over here and it makes a shadow, it bears inside it, then you can't see Bear's shadow. You can only see the shadow of the tree. But when Bear moved out from beside the tree, then you could see both of them. So the way that works is the sun's gonna come up on one side from our perspective. It's gonna come up in one side of the sky and through the day it's gonna move. And then when you go home at night, and maybe have dinner and get ready to go to bed, the sun's gonna be on the other side and your shadow's gonna be going the other direction. And during the day, it's gonna get longer going one way or another. So if you watch my tree shadow there, it's short and then it gets longer and longer depending on how far down in the sky the sun gets.